Hi everybody, Susan Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today we're going to be going over some rapashi food. I just heard last night that you can freeze it, so I thought I'd give it a shot again. I got two different flavors, community for my omnivores and I got meat lovers. So I'm also going to see if the turtles like it, the axolotls and my leopard gecko. So I'm going to start off by making a couple batches of rapashi. I'm going to feed it to 12 aquariums to see how they like it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And today I'm making rapashi. So today we're going to try meat pie. I'm going to use this silicone muffin pan. So I'm doing this outside because the last time I did it, it was very aromatic. So and what you do is one part of rapashi, depending on the thickness, two parts water. I think I'm going to do one and a half like that. And then you stir it until it's gel like. Ooh. And once it starts hardening, I'm going to put it in the silicone things for smaller pieces so I don't have to cut it up. And I just learned last night on Jeff Rose live stream that I can freeze this. So once it cools off and it's ready, I'll feed what I need to today and free freeze the rest and just pull it out as needed because I like to vary. So they're not going to eat this every day. And this one is meat pie. I'm going to be doing the community one as well since I got the Apache out. So now I'm going to make one for community plus. Now somehow or another I have to differentiate between the community and the carnivore. That's so I just want to show you I put little X's in all of the little patties that are for the community tank. That's my way of knowing which is carnivorous and which is community. We'll see how they like it. Rainbows love it. Oh, yay. Cory cats like it. The clown loaches like it. Look at that, the clown loach likes it. And that's not even the uh, meat lovers one. That's the community one. Oh, good. So this is probably my least finicky tank. So let's move on to another tank. Let's see how they like that. Oh, piggy wiggy, I'm gonna have to do smaller bites. They chowed them right up. Okay, that's cool. Let's try another tank. So now we're gonna try out the guppies. This is where it all began. I got this, the guppies for my granddaughter on her second birthday, which was a year ago in March and that's what started me in the fish keeping hobby that's where I started learning oh my goodness I, they like it yay all right so I think it's a big hit with the guppies let's go check out another tank I got some rummy nose tetras of course it started as a quarantine tank we'll see I got a couple coolie loaches in here Okay, so let's see if they like this. I'm going to give it over here closer to the rummy nose. But, oh yes, the, it looks like the rummy nose tetras like it. Let's go check out another tank. Okay, we're going to see how the Mbunas like it, if they like it. I'm not sure if they like that. I might have just caused myself a whole lot more work. Next. Okay, here is my original community tank that need, desperately needs a makeover. See all that in the back? Those are all roots. Papo's going wild. And right now it has my Hillstream Loach, two little angels that wouldn't gotta go in the other tank, Black Mollies, Rummy Nose Tetras, the Red Eye Tetras, there were Zebra Danios. And I also have a Bristlenose Pleco in here and Cubit High Loach. So this one I'm just gonna drop a chunk in. Oh, maybe it was just too big. The Tetras like it, look at that. The Tetras love, love it, good. Also got some Panda Cory Cats in here. 
but this tank just needs a major overhaul. Okay, next we're gonna check out the platy tank. This is my red tail Dalmatian platies. So I just have to get past the frog bit. So first I'll just move the frog bit. So if you look in this moss, there's about 20 or 30 fry. They're coming out for it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that adorable? I think they like it. Oh, look, <laughs> the algae eater's eating it. Next. So I'm going to let the camera focus for a minute because there's a whole lot of little endlers in here. Oh, they like it. Again, these, these guys are not very picky. Next. Now my shell dwellers are very particular so i don't think they'll eat the community they might eat the oh, oh, too big of a piece oh that one might oh yep yeah, that one's good next okay let's see if our finicky oscar jewel and jack dempsey like it just do little bits because i don't like dirty up their water if they don't like it well, that Oscar will eat anything. Let's try the Jack Dempsey. Come on, buddy. Oh, they would have liked it if they got a chance. The Jewel likes it. So the Rapache is definitely a winner for this Oscar. And the Jack Dempsey. I was going to say Jack Daniels. And the Jack Dempsey and the Jewel. Next. The Swords love it. The Sword Tails love it. The angels like it. Oh, yay. That'll work. Next. It's hard to tell the backdrop fell down, so I'll just see his tile. i got to add a backdrop to this. Let's see if they like it. Let's put a little bit in in case they don't. There's two Tetras in here, so I know they'll eat it. Yep. I got some killifish in here, and I got the blue-eyed pacifics in here. I'm not going to put more in there because I don't know if they're eating it. Thanks for checking out my channel.